When you are new to the cycling world and you look at the iron clothing for the first time, your job probably drop a few times. Bib shorts and jerseys can be so expensive, but do you really need it? What's up guys, my name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more cycling content. $300 bib shorts and $180 jersey are common among several brands such as Rafa, Panormal, Asos, MAP and a lot more brands. But is it really worth it? I got these questions asked a dozen times over on my Instagram and in today's video we will take a deeper look at one of these IM brands called Pedal Mafia. Pedal Mafia are from Perth, Western Australia, and have been around for a long time. I'm a big fan of their branding because of their photography style. As some of you know, I'm a professional photographer, and when you look at their Instagram and mine next to each other, the creative style is definitely aligned. Pedal Mafia were kind enough to send over a few kits for me to analyze, test, and give my feedback for you guys. Stick until the end of this video for a sweet discount. So Pedal Mafia have three lines of products for the bib and jerseys at different price points. The Core, the Pro, and the PMCC. The Core being the most affordable one and the PMCC the most expensive one. I don't have the Core line today, so we will focus on the two other lines. So what makes the PMCC bib and jersey in a league of its own? Let's first have a look with the bib. It features an invisible pro-length leg gripper. As you can see here, this huge grip band is the widest I've ever seen. And it's probably one of the most comfortable one too. It keeps the bib nice and tight at the exact length you want it to be. The high density shock absorption technology chamois of 149 kilograms per meter squares has five layers of TRS2 foam and is antimicrobial, which is something you don't see quite often in cycling bibs. Combining French and Italian fabrics that is laser cut, it feels extremely comfortable on the skin, it looks great, it's super tight, and the stitches are well made. The mesh here near the belly and all across the waist is super high quality. It goes higher than some of my other bibs, which is great. The straps are soft and also support great support with elasticity as well. I really like the PMCC minimal branding here that you have behind the bib and onto the left leg. Moving on to the PMCC jersey, it has some seamless body templates with laser cut sleeves that has invisible arm grippers that are longer length than you are probably used to. It definitely makes for some aero gains and some style gains as well. A silicone waistline at the bottom keeps the jerseys nice and tight to your bib all the time. There's nothing worse than a jersey that goes up to your back. That is a big plus for me. The rip lock zippers feel strong and lightweight and the rear pocket offers a lot of storage without looking too bulky. I like the reflective details at the right place for the cars to see you when you're riding a little bit more into the dark. And this jersey also packs these pockets for your keys and uh, credit cards that is a zipper. So the combination of the PMCC bib and jersey is now my number one rank kit after my 7 mesh Skyline and RK1 bib and also in front of my Rafa protein kit. At 249 USD for the bib and 189 for the jersey, it's a definitely high price tag, but you get what you pay for in terms of comfort, features, and style. Now for the middle line of Pedal Mafia, the Pro Bib and Jerseys Classic. The first thing you see when touching this bib is the quality of the fabrics. It's a little bit different than the PMCC. It's a slightly thicker, but it's still light, extremely elastic, it feels great. The gripper here is different. It's the same length, which is great, but the fabric is, from my feeling, is a little bit less grippy than the PMCC. The chamois is exactly the same as the PMCC. Super soft, it really absorbs all the shocks from the saddle uh, and all the shocks from the road. Something I did not mention with the other chamois is that this one goes a lot higher than my other ones. So it goes really from the back of your bum and all the way to the front of your pelvic area, which is really nice, keeps your junk nicely secured here. Uh, from any impacts. Moving on to the straps here, they feel a little bit lighter and a bit less fabric than the PMCC. Again, it's still good and high quality, but just not as high as the other line. For the jersey, it's extremely breathable. Once again, as you see, the fabric here is ventilated a lot, especially on the sides here. The back pockets here, again, pack some reflective details, a zipper for your credit card and keys, and they, they are stretchy and looks really durable to me at first look. I got here the Shark artist version it's by a gw as the artist name 
But I like the shark. It looks gonna look for a mean ride. They have the matching socks as well. So yeah, fabric is great. Elasticity is great. It fits well to the, the body. Keeps you tight. Aero gains. Style points again. Yeah, really good jersey. At $199 for the bib and $179 for the jersey, it's definitely again on the more expensive side due to the high quality of material. After trying both the PMCC and the Pro kit, I do believe that the PMCC line is worth the extra 50 bucks for the bibs and the jersey is, is worth the extra $10 for it. Now moving on to my favorite piece that I got from Pedal Mafia and it's this wind vest. So this wind vest packs a lot of features that you don't see in a lot in other wind vests. Uh, first of all, the rear and your back is light. There's barely no fabric. It's gonna breathe a lot, but the front is water resistance or uh, waterproof. So when you are riding VR in your buddies and it, the, the ground is wet, all the water that is gonna go thrown on you into your front of your body and your torso will not get you wet. So really appreciate the fact that it's waterproof in the front and it's breathable in the back. Also in the back, you see there's three rear pockets. In my guide to ultimate cycling clothing during fall and winter, I've mentioned that I had a wind vest that had no pockets. So it was like a hole to your jersey under. And this was the worst. This wind vest to have its own pockets is great. Pedal Mafia branding here on the top is really nice with a uh, coordinate there. Also here the top is water resistance. And what's really great about this is that it's so light that it packs super small into, you can roll it into it on itself, put it into your back of your jersey once it gets a little bit warmer. And when you get on top of this climb, about to go down uh, into downhill into some five degrees or 10 degrees temperature, you bring this out of the jersey and you're uh, good to go for going downhill. And moving on to this last piece that I got from the Pedal Mafia collection is this thermal long sleeve jacket. And this one is, oh, it's beautiful. This long sleeve jacket is perfect for the morning rides or the early season rides. Paired with the vest that I just shown is a really good combo that you can wear from zero degrees to 10 degrees. What's great about this jacket is the elastic band at the bottom that has some grip so it keeps itself onto your body for aero gains. The fabric is just really nice, stretchy with warm at the same time. Minimal branding from Pedal Mafia is great. Only this single Pedal Mafia logo onto the left of your, the chest. This jacket packs its own pockets as well. Three bigger pockets than the jerseys. Reflective details on both sides here. Zipper again for credit cards and keys. And just, just an overall nice feeling. I will ride this jacket a lot of time this spring season into the into the fall season here in Quebec. Kind of pricey, but I think you should. Everyone should have at least one of these pieces into your wardrobe. Is a, a jacket like that. So the recommend layering for riding with this jacket is between minus ten and zero. You have a base layer. You have this, and you have the vest. For zero to 10 degrees, you have a, just simply a base layer with this. And from eight degrees to 18 degrees, the base layer is optional. So you should be good to go with only this. So now the sizing at Pedal Mafia. So this is something I had to size down. So being an Australian brands, their size is a little bit different than North American size. For both of my bibs, I stayed with small, but for my jerseys and jacket and vest, I went with X small, usually on BME, seven mesh, Rafa and other brands, I am a small, but with Pedal Mafia, I had to size down. And it, it, it was a really good idea because if I would have went with a small, it would have been a little bit more floppy into the wind and uh, not look as good as an X small, basically. So now the question, should you buy Pedal Mafia for yourself? Well, the answer, it depends, I, as I always say into my videos. If you are a beginner cyclist, maybe it's not for you. It is quite expensive cycling clothing, but if you are being doing that for a long time. If your bike is worth a lot of money, if you're investing a lot of your time and energy into cycling, while well, looking good is also part of the game. Cycling is also a really fashionable sport in which I really like because I do like fashion and I do like nice looking cycling clothes. So with that said, if you are on the fence between all the Rafa's and the Paranormal and all those big brands, all those high couture cycling brands, uh, then definitely have a look into Pedal Mafia. Their lineup is really great. They just dropped recently their 2021 line. So uh, the products I showed today are from 2020. The new ones colors are a lot better and the bibs and the jerseys all, have all been brought to a higher level as well. So I will be looking forward to try those into the near future when Pedal Mafia is gonna send me more clothing, hopefully into the future. <laughs> all right, so in the event you wanna purchase some Pedal Mafia gear, use the promo code Charles Movie 10 at checkout. It's gonna get you 10% discount and it's gonna find me to become a full-time cyclist. So thank 
to you. All right, that's it for today's though. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already. I have a lot more cycling content coming in the next few weeks that you don't want to miss out. All right, my name is Charles and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.